The optimism killer. The optimism killer is the news. When you read the news, it is often there to drive clicks and to emotionally charge you up. And it starts to play on your emotions because humans have a natural negativity bias. And this is something that's very ancient. Our ancient, ancient ancestors had this negativity bias because they were constantly scanning the horizon to look for tigers and bears and water sources and food and trying to figure out how to survive. And that stuck with us in the reptilian part of our brain. And this translates to today into the news and, it, and we fall prey to it so easily. So instead of watching the news, instead of recommending that your team stay up to date with the news all the time, which by the way, it's okay to stay up to date with the news, but you don't want to let it absorb all of your time and energy and focus because it brings you from an optimistic perspective down to a pessimistic perspective, which can make you prone to taking less action. And this doesn't serve anybody. So instead of watching the news, be the news. Yes, instead of watching the news, be the news. Encourage your team to be the news. Track your highlights during this difficult time of a crisis. Track the team wins. Track team recognition. Create maybe your own team newsletter that you can circulate within your team or that you can share with people outside the organization. Maybe to have, the, have your team share it with their families. A bit of good news. So when your team's working day to day, instead of just checking the news over and over again on updates on the crisis, start being the news and thinking about when we get through this particular crisis, what are you going to look back over your shoulder and see that you and your team accomplished that you're truly proud of? Is it, is it going to be that you survived or is it going to be that you thrived in the face of adversity?